besides being two big names in the rap industry that are successful worldwide. Lil Wayne and Wiz Khalifa are two artists who have made a lot of money throughout their careers. But have you ever stopped to wonder which of the two leads a more luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a close battle between Lil Wayne versus Wiz Khalifa. But before we get started, I challenge you to click on subscribe and turn notifications on in less than five seconds. Okay, let's get started. Both millionaires own beautiful cars, but which one has the most expensive garage? Wiz Khalifa, for example, has his own unique car collection. He has, for example, a Chevrolet Corvette C4 convertible valued around $25,000, a Chevrolet El Camino SS valued around $30,000, a 1969 Chevy Chevelle SS valued around $40,000, a 2010 Dodge Challenger SRT8 valued around $40,000. A 2012 Dodge Challenger SRT8 Black Dub Edition valued around $50,000. A 1962 Chevrolet Impala SS valued around $55,000. A 2015 Cadillac Escalade valued around $100,000. A 2017 Porsche 911 Carrera S valued around $120,000 and a Rolls-Royce Cullinan valued around $350,000. Lil Wayne, on the other hand, can afford to drop a bit of cash on his wheels. He has, for example, a 2002 Porsche Boxster S valued around $30,000, a 2008 Cadillac CTS-V valued around $60,000, a Campania T-Rex valued around $70,000, a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG valued around $200,000, a Bentley Mulsanne valued around $310,000. An Aston Martin Vanquish valued around $320,000. A Ford McLaren 720S Spider valued around $350,000. A Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead valued around $500,000. A Mercedes Maybach 62 Landaulet value at around $1,800,000. And a Bugatti Veyron value at around $1,900,000. Since Lil Wayne owns the most expensive garage, he wins this round. The two rappers doesn't skip when it comes to investing in nice places to live. But which one has a more sophisticated real estate? Wiz Khalifa, for example, has his own multi-million dollar mansions. He has a mansion in San Fernando Valley enclave of Encino. The 8,000 square feet modern farmhouse is a brand new build, making Khalifa and his nine-year-old son the first residents of the space. With six bedrooms and seven bathrooms, including a 450-square-foot guesthouse equipped with a kitchenette, there's ample space for the two of them and several guests. A double-sided fireplace separates the home office and living area, with a modern black marble mantle on each side. Dramatic black accents are offered throughout, whether it be in the light fixtures, tiling in a guest bath, or window trim. They offer a striking contrast against the light wood. Additional amenities on the property include a home gym and a theater, plus a sparkling blue pool. He bought the mansion for a whopping price of $7,600,000. He also has another mansion in the same area of Encino. The rapper's abode welcomes you with 25-foot ceilings and a voluminous, open living space that includes a formal dining room, family room, and a kitchen with sleek, handleless lacquer cabinets a waterfall island, and a breakfast nook. The kitchen leads to a backyard that is perfect for entertaining and relaxing. It includes a sparkling pool and spa, custom glass fire pit, and a custom concrete BBQ center. The lavish yard also includes a basketball court and a pool cabana. Some of the star quality amenities in the dwelling include a 100 bottle wine bar, a home theater, pool, spa, and an outdoor kitchen. He has listed the mansion for a price tag of $4,400,000. Lil Wayne, on the other hand, has been able to build an extensive property portfolio dotted around the world. For example, he has a Miami beach home, which is situated on Allison Island, a 35-acre island within Biscayne Bay that connects to the mainland. It spans 10,632 square feet and has seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms. It feels even more spacious thanks to 22-foot ceilings in the two living rooms. In addition to these two sprawling lounge areas, there's a kitchen with custom Italian cabinetry and top-of-the-line appliances. 
The primary bedroom is quite stunning and is the largest in the house. It also has dual primary bathrooms, a walk-in closet, sitting area, and a private terrace that overlooks Biscayne Bay. He sold the mansion for $23 million. He bought a Los Angeles mansion spanning over three acres of land. The new residence comprises seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, stretched out over both the main abode and an adjacent guest house. Inside, open plan living makes the already large home appear even more expensive, with sliding glass walls flooding the interior with natural light. There is a paired back living room with pale wood floors opening out onto the home's backyard pool. Both the dining room, two island kitchen, and breakfast room offer panoramic views of the hidden hills. While upstairs, a primary suite features two walk-in closets, a steam shower, and a stone bath. Elsewhere, an outdoor bar, home gym, and mini theater accompany the mansion's other amenities, including a refrigerated wine display and piano area. He bought the mansion for a whopping price of $15,500,000. And because Lil Wayne owns a more expensive real estate, he wins this round. Both artists love to splurge on luxury items, but which one spends the most? Lil Wayne, for example, stands out with his unique taste in shining bling. As jewelry has been an essential representation in rap culture, Lil Wayne also added notable chains and rings to his collection. For example, he has a Sita Ice double-sided three-sided ring that could be flipped from both sides. And each ring in the rapper's collection reportedly costs upwards of $135,000. He also has a diamond-encrusted headphones worth around $1 million. Lil Wayne went all out when adding a few jewels to his teeth. As mentioned by Complex, he put up the grill around 2009, costing him $150,000 to complete the entire procedure. Wiz Khalifa, on the other hand, he is famous for his flamboyant style and extravagant jewelry collection. Wiz Khalifa's passion for jewelry started at a young age and has only grown over time. One of the rapper's most recognizable jewelry pieces is his chains and pendants. Wiz Khalifa is well known for his custom-crafted chains, usually made of gold or platinum, and feature elaborate motifs and huge diamonds. Most of the time, these chains complement the prominent jewelry, the pendant. Other notable pieces in Wiz Khalifa's collection are his watches. The watches range from Rolexes to diamond-studded ones, for example, he has a diamond-encrusted Cartier Roadster XL valued around $20,000. An 18-carat yellow gold Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date just valued around $30,000, $60,000. A Rolex Day Date with black diamond dial valued around $60,000. And an Audemars Piguet customized with diamond valued around $100,000. And since there is no way to measure the value of each rapper's entire closet, Let's consider this round a draw. As well as being two great artists, they have other income sources. But who stands out the most in business? Wiz Khalifa, for example. Like many successful artists, Wiz Khalifa has also ventured into the world of endorsements and brand partnerships. He has inked deals with well-known brands like Converse, Reebok, and Raw Rolling Papers. These collaborations have boosted his public image and added to his net worth. Wiz has also shown a keen interest in entrepreneurship. In 2016, he launched his marijuana brand, Khalifa Kush, which has become popular among cannabis enthusiasts. This venture has brought significant income and diversified his revenue streams. Despite his immense wealth, Wiz Khalifa has not forgotten the importance of giving back to his community. He has supported numerous charitable organizations and causes, including the Boys and Girls Club, Habitat for Humanity, and It's On Us. Khalifa co-founded Taylor Gang Entertainment, which operates as an independent record label, film, and music management production company. He also released a Taylor Gang clothing line, which also sells skateboard decks, grinders, and other similar accessories. Lil Wayne, on the other hand, has also managed to secure several lucrative endorsement deals with prominent brands such as Mountain Dew, Samsung, and Beats by Dr. A. These endorsements have allowed him to further increase his earnings and expand his wealth. Moreover, he has demonstrated a keen sense of business acumen by venturing into various industries. He founded his record label, Young Money Entertainment, which has signed several successful artists like Drake, Nicki Minaj, and Tyga. 
Other businesses are a clothing line titled TruckFit, his own line of Beats by Dre Pro headphones dubbed the Tunechi Beats, an app called Squad Up, a sports agency titled Young Money Sports, his own flavored cigarillos called Bogey Cigars, a partnership with a French watch brand called Wise Ope, and the launch of his own shoe line with Supra. He also has a whiskey brand called the Bamboo Rum The Carter Fi. And since they all have other income sources, we'll consider this round a draw. Both rappers have made a lot of money throughout their careers, but who has the biggest accumulated wealth? Wiz Khalifa, for example. From his music career to endorsements and entrepreneurial ventures, Wiz has proven that he is a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry. Wiz Khalifa has had an impressive music career, releasing seven studio albums and reaching over five million album sales worldwide. The rapper has raked in solid revenue from his tours and concerts across the country. One of his biggest earnings was during the Rolling Papers tour in 2011, where he earned about $15,300,000 on that tour alone. Although the exact amount of his brand endorsements contracts weren't publicly available, it is safe to assume that the rapper earned millions from his endorsements. Wiz Khalifa has an estimated net worth of over $80 million and keeps rising. Lil Wayne, on the other hand, has established himself as one of the most influential rappers in the music industry. Lil Wayne boasts a staggering record of selling over 100 million albums globally, solidifying his position as one of the most successful and highest selling rappers in history. His catalog includes numerous chart-topping singles and collaborations, contributing significantly to his income through digital sales and streaming platforms. In addition to his music-related ventures, Lil Wayne has made strategic investments in real estate and technology companies. These diverse investments contribute to the overall diversification of his income and contribute to his substantial wealth. Lil Wayne has an estimated net worth of over $180 million and keeps rising. And because Lil Wayne has the biggest net worth, he wins this round. At the end of this battle, we have two points for Wiz Khalifa and five points for Lil Wayne, making him the winner of this battle.